G'day everyone, Tim from VMix here, and today we're looking at the Elgato CamLink Pro on this episode of Will It Work With VMix? So spin that wheel. So let's get to it. Does VMix support the Elgato CamLink Pro? Yes. The Elgato CamLink Pro is a PCI Express capture card that allows you to connect for HDMI video signals to use in your vMix production. It will allow you to use four 1080p 60 sources or even four 4K sources at 30p. You might be thinking, hey Tim, hasn't this card been out for ages? Why are you talking about it now? Well, quite frankly, there hasn't been any stock in Australia at all. So now that we've acquired one, um, we're able to make this video to let you know that it's going to work with vMix. Now we make these videos as a reminder for everyone to check out our supported hardware page on vMix.com. This is the equipment that we've extensively tested and we support. So if you are in the market for more equipment for your live video production, like this capture card, PTZ camera, controller, laptop, or computer, then it's the place to go. The Elgato CamLink Pro cards are kind of crazy. They'll allow you to have four Full HD or 4K HDMI cameras in your production for around 360 US dollars, which is pretty much unheard of. Now we could easily be using this card for our productions with no problems. We don't use more than four cameras. We use 1080p 60 for these video tutorials and for our live stream. And we've noticed that the card does work really well in our testing. So if you're looking for a capture card and you want room to expand, then a four input card is a good option. Like I've said in many of our other videos, you never have clients to ask for less cameras. It's always give me more cameras. Now, if you're in the market for a PCI Express capture card, then at $360-ish, this card provides fantastic value. It's not that much more expensive than single input cards. So it's something to consider if you're in the market for a new card, you might wanna look at how much it's gonna cost per input. So at $360 for four, it provides pretty good value. Now the closest other option is probably the Blackmagic Design Quad HDMI recorder, which is a couple of hundred dollars more expensive. However, you do get 4K 60 as an option on that card. Manufacturers like Blackmagic Design, Magewell and AJA that offer multi-input HDMI cards probably lean more towards broadcasting rather than gaming, which is what Elgato is traditionally known for. So with any kind of capture hardware, there are plenty of reviews and comparisons and opinions on the internet that might persuade you one way or another over different brands. However, with testing this card, especially doing this tutorial at 108060, uh, we haven't had any problems with it, which leads me to the next part. It's not a will it work with the vMix video without actually using the product. That's right. So we've gone ahead and removed our usual Blackmagic card from the computer over here and installed the CamLink Pro. So for the tutorial today, I do have my Ursa Mini Gen 2, which I usually use. This is an SDI camera, so I do have a decimated converter converting it to HDMI for the card. I also have an Ada PTZ camera that's above me up here, which is focusing on the... Uh, capture card, as you can see here, the Elgato cam. So that's above me here. And I have a Sony camera, which is on my desk here, uh, which is connected, but isn't quite set up yet. So now I'm gonna show you how to add that third input into the production. So first of all, I'm just gonna go down into the add input section down here. And then I'm gonna go up to camera. And then I can go and select it from the drop down menu here. So what I wanna do is select number three. So before you see any of this, when you install your Elgato card, you will need to download the hardware drivers from the website. So I'll include a link in the description for that as well. So once you've installed the card, install the drivers, you'll see the options one, two, three, and four available here. So I'm going to select HDMI three because that's where my um, camera is connected to. Uh, make sure that these are correct. These match my camera and my production 1080, 5994. I don't need audio or anything. So I'm just gonna click okay. And as you can see, I now have my uh, guy down here in the production. So this is my camera that's sitting on my desk and my I can include it as a part of my production. The CamLink Pro is going to give you a lot of flexibility as it has four inputs. So you won't really have to worry about adding additional cameras because you've got four to play with. 
It supports 1080 60, which is a really nice option to have as well if you're looking to capture smooth content like sports or esports. And you can even dabble in the dark arts of 4K if you wanted to. Although most productions these days still aren't running in 4K, but it's nice to have that option if you did want to play around with 4K. Now, as Elgato is stocked in a lot of big box retailers and places like Amazon, you can easily pick them up and buy them. Now, to be honest, I'm pretty surprised that we've reached a place where you can get a pretty high quality four input capture card at this price point and have it delivered in a couple of days or even walk into a shop and buy one. Although I am glad that we've finally arrived here as it opens up a lot of opportunities for people who are just starting out and don't really need or can't afford higher end sort of broadcast capture cards. And because most prosumer or new people that are starting out with uh, live streaming have HDMI cameras, it's really good to actually have some multi-input HDMI cards on the market. Now, there was a time not that long ago that you couldn't even get multi-input HDMI cards at all. So it's really awesome that everybody finally has access to a card that they can use in their production. So this card does require four dedicated PCI Express lanes to run properly. So you'll need to make sure that your motherboard has support for that. Now I do talk about PCI Express a lot on here, but you need to make sure you have four dedicated lanes. A number of, well, most motherboards will probably have a, a buy four PCI Express slot on it, or maybe in two of them, but these are often shared with peripherals and USB. So you need to make sure you have four dedicated lanes that you can use for this card. As the card was created by Elgato, it fits within their Elgato ecosystem. So there are a number of features like stream deck control to the card directly, and multi-view preset, so you can do production on the card uh, and that sort of thing, but these aren't really applicable to vMix. Um, again, you can check out their website to see all of the different features that they offer. If you have found a way to use these kind of things in vMix, that's cool. Um, feel free to drop us a comment as well in um, the video. So I'll link the card in the description if you wanna know all the ins and outs and that sort of thing. Uh, it is not the Camlink, so there's a difference. There's a Camlink and now there's a Camlink Pro. So the Camlink's a USB device. This one's PCI Express, so I just thought I um, would clear that up. So do you have an Elgato Camlink Pro? You know, if so, feel free to drop us a comment about what you like and maybe what you don't like about it or how you're using it in your vMix production. Thanks for joining us today on this episode of Will It Work With vMix? Now we do test a lot of different hardware with vMix to make sure that you get the best experience and we only include equipment on that list if it passes our tests. If you want to see what capture devices, cameras and controllers work best with vMix, just head to vMix.com and go to our supported hardware page. If you have any questions about vMix, send us an email through vMix.com as we can give you a lot better support experiences via email as opposed to YouTube comments. We can get all sorts of diagnostics and that sort of thing if you send us an email. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.